Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Today we're gonna actually scan the Amiibo that I tried to scan last time. So we'll be able to take a look at Inkwell's RV for the day. Now we've already met Inkwell. We met him in Wee Pimp, my personal Animal Crossing New Leaf town. But I would really like to show off his RV because I think it's super cute. Um, and so we're gonna scan him in right now. Now I've been told via comment that you can in fact use Splatoon 2 Amiibos to get Inkwell in addition to the original Splatoon Amiibos. So all of them will get you Inkwell. He's the only one you can get and he's always orange. He's never gonna be the other colors. That'd be pretty cool if they had like different colors of Inkwell. Um, but anyway, we're gonna ask him to come and play. I've been asking him to give me something just about every day, just because I mainly am concerned with getting Meow coupons so that I can exchange them for bells. So that's kind of all I've been using him for. And he's given me a lot of modern wood furniture items, which is kind of weird. A lot of the time they'll give you, like Amiibos will give you various, um, pieces that come from their homes or their RVs, but sometimes it's completely random, but it seems like he has a lot of modern wood furniture for whatever reason, so... Which, that goes nicely in our Banjo-Kazooie room, so I can't complain. But, it's just kind of interesting to me. I'm like, why does a squid have all of these wooden pieces of furniture? I don't know. Alright, so let's go visit him first. I love how his trailer looks, by the way. It's all... It's splattered with paint. It's so cute. And I love it. I love how his whole place looks. It's just so cute. Um, and his, his music. KK Adventure. So cute. Hi, Inkwell. Hey, do you live here? The name's Inkwell and the game's anything involving feats of strength. Um, so his description says, a Splatoon superfan, Inkwell's decided to leave his past behind and create a new identity as a squid. It'd be going better if his eight legs weren't so obvious. That's so funny. Um, so you can order his furniture. This is pretty cool. Ink splattered wall. You can really make a Splatoon room and look, you can even have like Splatoon items, um, that you can wear. So those are really, really cool too. Um, Splatoon 2 hype, by the way. Um, so if you talk to him again, he'll have options for you. So you can say, let's talk, you should live here, let's work out. What the heck? Why can you say, let's work out? <laughs> oh my god, I had no idea that that was even an option. Okay, that's really, really funny and really, really cute. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna leave it up to you, pimps, if you'd like Inkwell to move in here as well. It'll be kind of funny if we do have him live here, because he already lives in Wee Pimp, so I'll have the same villager in both towns. Um, I haven't done this yet. I haven't asked anybody to move in via Amiibo card or Amiibo figure, just because I don't... I don't want to upset the randomized balance of the game, so... That's my excuse, anyway. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is, like, not wanting to function while I'm trying to speak, either. So, sorry for, like, clearing my throat in this video. Who's in here? Is this, um... Aw, oh, it's Chip. We haven't seen Chip in a while. Yeah, I live here. And I'm out of here. Okay, anyway. What I'm gonna start doing every day is showing off... Um, the amiibos that we're missing that are NPCs because several of them I have the amiibo figure for I have to check for I know we have like two amiibo figures that um, I could bear to show off still okay guys sorry I just had to like cut right there because my throat was having a spasm and I was like clearing it and coughing all up in this mic so I'm like okay Anyway, what I was trying to say before the coughing fit happened is that I'm gonna start scanning in amiibo cards uh, for NPCs that I have. I have to make sure, I have to check and make sure that I have what we need, and if not, then I'll figure it out. But regardless, I know that I have the figures we need, so 
that's the good news. We're gonna go into retail because I actually have not picked up my custom item from last time. If you guys remember, it was the stool, so. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that Banjo-Kazooie stool though! So cute! Okay. Alright, cool. Um, I have this other piece of furniture I want to customize as well, so let's go ahead and turn this into Cyrus. Okay, so we're gonna turn in my modern wood lamp. There it is. I always hit the wrong piece of furniture first. Yes, I am willing to do it for that much. And I think it's weird that Cyrus, you have to be like, what do you suggest? Why can't he just tell you immediately? Dumb. Now the only two options for this kind of furniture is simple or diamond pattern for the wood. So I'm gonna go diamond because that's what I've been doing with everything else. So cool. And I don't think we can change the shade. We can't. It's just all diamond. Oh, hi Groucho. How's it going? Ooh, he wants that gyroid right there. We're gonna tell him to buy it because that's like 3,200 bells. You should buy my mega poltergoid, yo. Okay. You don't mind if I just pay you directly, do you? No, I don't mind. I do not mind! I'm like mama! All right, well that's cool. Groucho has- oh shoot, I should have sold some of my stuff that's in my pocket. Oh well. We'll go up to Main Street first and see if there's anything interesting there. I have like so many bees and beehives in my pocket still. It's kind of intense. Plus these shops are gonna close soon anyway because it's like approaching 8 o'clock. What time is it anyway? I think it's like 7.30. Something like that. I don't know. Time's not showing up for me. Anyway. Um, okay, literally nothing in here ever. I come in here every day and there's never anything I want. Nooklings. Come on! Give me something good, yo! Ah. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to retail and sell some of this crap after I go in here and see if we can get a cute little new outfit or something. And then I'd like to go shark fishing. Why do all of these outfits look like Heidi? I don't understand. And we've got freaking skeleton pants. I- what? You know, I just really don't understand. Look, we even have a little red riding hood in here! Like, what? Come on, guys. Come on now. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this red hood. We're gonna just look straight out of a fairy tale. Let's do this. Boom. This hot red hood. We're gonna go and get a Heidi dress. Now which one, you ask? I don't know, because they're both really tacky looking. I'm gonna go this one. Um, a yodel dress! Ooh, I'll take it. What the heck is this one called then? A turnip dress? What? I'm buying it. Oh, what a joke on a... Oh, no. Seriously? Why are my pockets so full? I'm trying to look like a fairy tale over here. Okay, well this is incredibly stupid. Incredibly dumb! We're not even gonna go into kicks because I can't... I can't even, like, put... Okay. You know what? We are not gonna mess with that because that's stupid. <laughs> All I wanted, guys, was to look like a freaking fairy tale. And I hear you, mosquito. Oh my gosh, speaking of mosquitoes, I was outside. This is such a troll. I was outside at a party my sister had for her birthday. I'm like slapping my legs like crazy. Like if anybody looked at me, they'd be like, this girl's psycho. Like if they didn't know I was slapping mosquitoes, yeah, they would for sure think I was insane. So I'm like, okay, hello, I need to get these mosquitoes off of me. Didn't, like, I even got a few. I felt bad, but I like got a few. I slapped, they got slapped, let's just say that. So I come home the next day, this is like, 
almost 24 hours later. I'm talking to my mom and she's like, you know, for that party, being outside, I didn't get like any mosquito bites like I thought I was getting. I'm like, yeah, me neither. I kid you not, five minutes later, I had like, I counted 11 mosquito bites on my ankles alone. This is incredibly stupid. I'm so itchy all the time now. Can't stand these freaking mosquitoes, but they really like my blood and they want it. I don't even know why. Ah! 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 Oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What the heck happened to it? Is it gone? Guys, that was so... Oh, Man, I can't stand these panic attacks. Freaking mosquito! Okay, we're gonna we're we're getting out of here. We're gonna go fishing. What's in here? No. Go fish. Come on now. Yeah. I almost didn't get that. Oh, oh, I got a crawfish with those pinches. Okay, sweet. I'm glad that I got this. Um, can we catch a shark? I keep catching these sunfish. I caught a whale shark. But I've literally not caught a shark shark. So I'm like, I need one. I need one right now. I love when the villagers come up to you and they're like, Oh, I heard that tarantulas are really cool. Can you catch me one? I'm like, no, get your own friggin' tarantula. I can't catch you one. That's terrifying. And you know how difficult that is? You need to get a life. Get out. Okay, cool. No shark fins over here. We're gonna run down this way. There's Rodeo. We haven't talked to Rodeo in a day. How's it going, Rodeo? I want to chat. Do you have a wetsuit? I don't. Okay, why don't you give me one, though? I still have not gotten one. Whatever, thanks for telling me something I already knew. You suck. Okay. Ooh, let's get this ore out of this rock. Emerald. All right, cool. Oh, I should show off letters. I didn't even realize I hadn't done this already. Okay, so you know how I sent those letters the other day? Well, I got one from Caesar that has a gift. Getting that present from you made my day. Thanks. Look, what? It was a men's toilet. <gasps> and he sent me bathroom paper. That's amazing. Thanks. Look at that. I actually got something for you too. What a coincidence. Tell me what you think later. Okay, what did you get me? Show me. You got me. Diner tile. That's what's in my party in the bathroom room, dude. Come on now. All right, Igly says, how's it going, lady bro? Thanks for the sweet gift. I'm gonna use it right now. I was surprised by your present, but not as surprised as you're gonna be. Booyah, I win, right? From Big Igly. No way, he really said that. He said it. Big in quotations. That makes me so happy. Oh my god, what did he give us? What did he give us? Plush carpet. Oh man. They just really want us to have rugs. Okay, this is from Barbara. Each night before sleeping, I, r I read that letter you sent me. Letters can encourage you to say things that you're too embarrassed to say out loud. I suppose this is the end. What? From Fragile Barbara? Good god, I didn't want her to commit suicide. I don't even remember what I wrote her. And Rodeo says, For madam, your letter made me put on my fancy clothes and dance. I'm going to write you as many letters as there are leaves on a tree. This is one. See you later, your pal Rodeo. Well, isn't that just the niftiest thing you've ever seen? I live in a town with such weirdos. I gotta tell you guys. Okay. Um, let's go down to my other beach. Let's rock this beach and let's see what is going on down here. If there's nothing, I'm gonna have a really big conniption. Duh! Okay, that's not what I expected to see. 
Why are you talking about being the alpha male, freaking weirdo? We're not trying to mate with you right now. Come on now! Get the F up! I'm okay, thanks. I always get this wrong, so let me not get it wrong this time. Alright, I'm gonna try to not just speed through it and be stupid this time, because that's what I did last time. Yeah, you have amnesia, you're the same as always. Blah, 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 blah. And... Okay, sure, I'll help you out. Tell me everything I want to know. Okay, so... Country I was headed to is the birthplace of Mr. Noble, the man who started the Nobel Prize. What? Or the Nobel Prize, not Noble. Um... What? This country gets very cold in the winter months since it's located way up north. But I'm planning on winning the Nobel Prize someday. <sighs> For God's sake, I don't know. Who? I don't know where the freaking Nobel guy is from or Nobel. I guess I'll look it up. Because I'm going to get it wrong if I don't. Alright. Um, no. Nobel Prize. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Origins. I'm literally googling this. Um. Da 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 What? This does not- Come on. Which country gives the- What? Norway? Is that a thing? No, it's not even on this list! Um. Okay, sweet Swedish. So Sweden is that what I'm looking for? Maybe. Watch it be wrong. Woo! Wow, that was a struggle. Okay, I suck, guys. But I did get it right in the end. I have no idea what this prize is, so I will be surprised tomorrow. Come on, all I want is a shark, guys. Now th this is just stupid. Get every distraction in the world and still don't get a shark. Okay, well, on that note, at least I got a crawfish or whatever. I'll try and catch this little guy. Come on, little dude. Come on. Yeah. All right, yay, I caught a Nemo. Okay, well that's going to do it for today's episode, pimps. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful visit to Big Pimp. And let me know what you think about Inkwell, and we'll go from there. So I will see you tomorrow. Peace out, pimps.